Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Brittany here. So today I wanted to show you guys a um, unboxing of some things that I got my son um, from Target online that I had shipped to our house. Um, right now with COVID-19 around, I haven't been going to the store as much. Um, so I did do some online shopping um, and got these things for super cheap. So if you haven't heard of Ibotta yet, um, Ibotta is a super good way to earn money back on groceries that you buy. So I'll put my link um, or my code in the description box below if you would like to check that out. Um, the way Ibotta works is you um, get money back like rebates kind of on different things that you buy. Sometimes you'll get like 10 cents back for just scanning any receipt um, for Walmart or um, like Dollar General or Food Lion or whatever stores that you have in your area just for going to that store and shopping there and uploading your receipt and then also they have some coupons for any brand items so um, if you buy any milk they'll give you like a quarter back or if you buy any bread or any Na any brand of whatever item it is they'll give you some money back for those things and then there's also rebates for um, some name brand items like pet care things um, household items um, personal care food there's food items that are broken up by frozen um, pantry dairy all kinds of different categories and that can help you save a lot of money so what I did is I cashed out my Ibotta account into PayPal and I was able to get these um, things for my son for only $12. So I used my Ibotta account for all the money that I had made on my groceries and things like that towards these clothes for him and then I only had to pay $12 out of pocket and I did buy him 12 sleepers I think maybe maybe nine I'll have to look. Um, so it was pretty cheap, usually for um, clothes and things like that for my kids. I usually buy second hand um, at like Goodwill or thrift stores or yard sales or things like that. But um, in times like these, there hasn't been any yard sales and I would not go to any yard sales right now just because you just never know and staying at home is the safest thing that you can do. Um, so I haven't been going to any yard sales or activities or anything outside my house um, other than the grocery store and I've only been going to the grocery store when I absolutely need to go. Um, and I've been getting stuff to last for us a longer period of time so I don't have to go back. Um, especially with having the two small kids in the house, I don't want to go to the store unless I absolutely have to and the kids aren't going to the store with us at all. They're staying home with my husband while I go and I wear a mask when I go and I'm constantly using my hand sanitizer. Um, so the way that I got these items um, from Target to um, lessen the risk of spreading coronavirus was they came in a box. Um, the box never came inside our house. We took the items straight out of the box and put the box straight into the trash can and we took these um, little plastic packages that they came in and put them into our garage for a couple days. Um, and then I also Lysol sprayed the outside package of these items um, just to ensure that um, all of COVID-19 was dead on the packages before I brought them into my house. And then also I'm planning on washing these items um, after I take the tags off before I ever put them onto my son. So those are just some things that we're doing just to minimize the spread since um, we did get these online. Um, it is safer I think than going into the store and touching everything and being around people who are maybe coughing or sneezing or anything like that that don't have masks on that could be spreading it. So I feel like the online safe online shopping was safer um, but we just took a few more extra precautions when the package did arrive to our house just to make sure there wasn't any remainder COVID-19 on the packages before we opened them. So I'll go ahead and get started and show you guys. So each um, little bundle set of sleepers that I got came into these little plastic bags here. So here is
the first set. So they all came in like sets of three. So very first set here is Cloud Island. These were six to nine months. So here's the first one in this set. And here's the second one. I really like this one. This one's cute. And I really like the Target brand, the Cloud Island. I think that their sleepers are really soft. And these are six to nine months, but they still have the little hand covers if your baby um, tries to like scratch at their face. Our son really likes to pull his hair. It's kind of like a comfort thing for him is when he's at sleep, asleep, he likes to just have his hands on his head and he gets a hold of his hair. And sometimes if he falls asleep, like his hands relax and he'll tug on his hair and wake himself up and he'll cry. So these for us, are really nice just because our son still doesn't like scratch his face but he pulls out on his hair and wakes himself up and hurts himself and he doesn't understand when I have my hands up here all in my hair and I'm pulling at it I'm gonna get hurt so for us this is a good way to kind of prevent that and here's the last one in that um, little three pack set and they are hedgehogs look at this guys this is so cute. Adorable. So these are six to nine months. Our son right now is five months, about to be six months, but he's a pretty big boy. So we really needed to get some bigger sleepers for him. Um, and before all of this happened with coronavirus and everything, I had gone to a few like thrift stores and was looking around and I never could find any bigger sizes. It was all pretty much like newborns, zero to three months and three months and stuff. And he flew through those clothes so quick. Um, he did not stay in those very long at all. So a lot of his clothes he barely wore in those sizes. So here's the next set that came in a little package. Um, these here are Gerber. So once again they're all a set here so this one um, says hello it has a little um, I think it's a raccoon here with a little tail he had um, some onesies that were similar to this when he was a little bit smaller um, that had a raccoon hands like they the little raccoon was sitting here and he had little hands and those were felt and they were like hanging off of the material so I thought this was cute and both of our kids sleep in sleepers at night we feel like it helps to keep them warm and both of our kids take their socks off and so then we know their feet won't get cold at night so here is this one here this is so cute I think guys look at this and these don't have any of the covers on the hands. The Gerber's ones don't, but the Cloud Island does. So if you're looking for some with that, you might want to get the Cloud Island instead of the Gerber. And here is the last one. And for us personally, we really like um, the sleepers that zip instead of buttoning. We feel like that's super easy. They wake up in the middle of the night, easy to just unzip them change their diapers, zip them back up, and then put them back to bed. And our son still wakes up quite a bit during the night. So zippers are helping us to get him changed and fed and back to bed quicker so we can try to get a little bit more sleep. And then these here that I'm going to show you guys are also Gerber. This is the last three pack that I got. Looks like this. He actually has um, some blankets and also some burp cloths, burp cloths that are also um, in this like pattern um, themed material. These here are six to nine months as well. I thought this was really cute. Kind of the theme we went for with him was kind of like woodland, like forest animals and things like that. So these really fit into that. These here are little trees. And then this one here is really cute too. So it has little fuzzy ears. The ears are super soft. 
and it looks just like this so yeah guys I just wanted to show you guys an unboxing of some baby items that we got for my son um, that we got for really cheap because we did use my um, I bought an account um, to transfer it over to PayPal you can also transfer it over to gift cards and um, I think you can also donate it if you want um, so that's the way that you guys can help save on your grocery bills so I'll put that description in the link below or in the description box below so that you guys can check that out um, and feel free to like this video give it a thumbs up please if you guys liked it and then also please subscribe I'm hoping to really um, grow this channel and I'd be happy to have you guys part of the family if you would like to subscribe I think right now we're at like 120 subscribers which is just so amazing to me and I appreciate each and every one of you guys um, I never knew my channel would already have a hundred and so subscribers because I've only had this channel for um, a couple of months so I just think that's so amazing and each and every one of you are just so thankful for and we hope that you guys are staying safe during these hard times and we'll see you guys next time bye guys